Hi, I'm Terry O'Reilly. I'd like to take you through some of the sheet metal functionality inside of SolidWorks. Now, if you can't already see a sheet metal tab, right click up on the main toolbar to turn it on. Let's start off by creating a very basic sketch. If you haven't found it already, hit the S key on the keyboard, wakes up an in context customizable toolbar. Let's get some basic geometry down. And we can move straight into our sheet metal toolbar. So let's turn the sketch into a base flange or a tab. You can see straight away here we can define our direction and also a length for our tab. And if I zoom in, you'll see a material thickness is starting to be applied. And here I can control the direction the material is applied to. If we wish, we can use a gauge table. These are simple Microsoft Excel spreadsheets that we can add and edit. I'm going to choose my spreadsheet, an 18 gauge steel. You can see the correct thickness has been applied. Also included in my spreadsheet, some allowable bend radiuses. This one's have what I'm happy with. We very quickly have a part for which we can show the flat and develop pan instantly. I'm going to go a little bit further with this one and uh, show you an edge flange. Simply pick an edge and pull in the correct direction and we'll apply a length for the flange. Now if we zoom in we can apply the flange, flange relative to the edge so we can position it either inside or out or from the bend radius. We can also adjust the angle and if we wish the flange profile this takes us into a sketching mode where we can simply drag the sketch around and use dimensions okay. to create a more customised flange. You'll see here the automatic relief and this again is customisable to suit your requirements. I'm going to go a little bit further with this design and put in a mice flange. For mice flange we simply pick an edge and SolarWorks provides us with a sketching plane flat against that edge where we can sketch out the profile shape for the flange. I'm just going to place on here a basic straight flange edge. You see the mitre tool has run the mitre along that edge for me and I can very quickly propagate it around all the other edges. You see as well it's working out the mitre for me with a adjustable gap and also including some automatic relief that would be required to make this part. As before I can adjust the flange position with a simple click. And as always, I have a part that can instantly show the flat and develop pattern for. Now we can create a drawing at this stage, or if we wish, with a right click on the flat pattern icon, we can export this directly to DXF or DWG. I'm going to go ahead and create a drawing. Let's just save that off first. Okay, so I'll choose my drawing template you find that SolarWorks has automatically generated a flat pattern of the design for me. And if I place that on the drawing page, I have the option to flip the view. I'm going to flip that around 90 degrees. It's also shown for me. The bend nodes. This is something I can turn off if I don't wish to use these, but it means that very quickly I have a fully annotated drawing view on my sheet so I can send this straight off to manufacture. So just a basic introduction to the sheet metal functionality side of SolidWorks 2010. Thank you.